Good morning, good morning everybody. It's Gav here, Sarah's hubby. Well, I don't know if any of you guys can recognise this area because, well, it is daytime. Um, this is Yamba truck stop. There's the loo and the um, covered eating section. There's my baby. Uh, I've got taut line of trailers this time around. And uh, another couple of guys who were here from last night. And a passing truck. Okay. <laughs> so here we are, back up here at Yamba. Oh, it's quite nice. Look, it's, uh, it's about 14, 15 degrees this morning. And, uh, yeah, it, um, oh, it looks like I had a rough night, but I didn't actually. It was a, it was a great sleep. Um, this morning, of course, I'm having, I'm doing the shake-up again. But, uh, yeah, so it's a great drive up to, up to Rocky. Um, generally, once you get through the roadworks just north of Jinjin, it's, it's pretty good. Um, and last night, there was hardly anybody on the roads for some reason. Um, I did see a couple of places, like just down the road here, um, like the number of caravans and uh, RVs uh, that were that were there was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, they possibly all hit the road by now. Um, quite a few of the um, the nomads would have been uh, hitting the road, possibly five six o'clock. So uh, I'll be probably um, catching up to them as we hit Serena. So. Um, see how that all goes but um, at any rate uh, once again I've got the the hot water here um, gonna put the uh, the hot chocolate in it even though it's a little bit noisy it's still a nice and nice thing it's almost like camping but um, you're not your traditional camping where you're out in the out in the woods or out in the uh, the bush depending on what part of the world you come from um, it's it uh, it's a little noisier than that but um, it's still a great environment yeah you know, you're living the life um, on the road it's like camping every day and you get paid to do it so um, from that aspect it, it's pretty good um, trouble is you've got to camp on your own so um, if you're married uh, and you like being with your significant other like I do um, it means that you don't get time to spend with them because you're never at home. I'm actually away on average four or five days a week. So uh, it does get lonely uh, in that you miss your partner. You know, um, most of you guys would um, know what I'm getting at there. You, um, you really, you only ever do this for them. But um, still, you miss them, and um, yeah. I suppose uh, that's one of the that's one of the reasons why Sarah is actually building this um, private business. She'd like to have me retired, so I'll be at home with her more. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I think that's great. I, I think it's it's really touching that um, my wife would, would go to the extremes that she goes to, like you know the, the hours that she puts in to do this, and. Um, just so that she can help me and um, I'm going to help her as much as I can to help me <laughs> uh, it sounds a bit selfish but um, at the end of the day you know you help your partner no matter what and um, she's she's been there with me through thick and thin and I'll do whatever I can to help her at any rate this uh, this brew oh Oh, it never gets old, guys. Um, I know Sarah's going to get me some um, some other flavours. Uh, we've already ordered them, so hopefully they'll arrive by the end of the week. I think it is. I'm not too sure, uh, but well, well it's um, Sunday. That's right, Sunday today, Sunday the 16th. So um, all going well by the end by Friday. Uh, we should have our order to prove it, hopefully. And they'll have some new flavours in there that I haven't tried before. And um, I'm really looking forward to, um, to trying those. But um, I must admit, the, the latte nut, that is absolutely sensational. Oh. And it's a cool morning this morning, about 14 degrees. So, like, when you're sitting around a campfire, which I 
cannot have here by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but if you're sitting around a campfire, you know, first thing in the morning, a nice hot uh, hot beverage is always a, a great morale booster, particularly if you're going to hike for a couple of miles. Um, gets the blood circulating, gets everything going, and it's no different when you're going to go drive the truck it gives yourself a, um, a little bit of a morale boost and gives you that little touch of home a little um yeah a little nice thing first thing in the morning so that's that's why i like this of course in summer in the hot weather i don't drink that obviously i drink the other types of ketones now uh, and i just started in the middle of summer and they were very very refreshing and you now that nice cool drink it was great so um yeah, these are uh, just what the doctor ordered, guys. So, uh, for any of you boys out there who um, may be feeling, oh, you know, um, I don't agree with what my wife's doing with you know, whatever it is that she's doing, her work or what have you, just, it's very hard for us guys because we like to take control, be in charge and uh, help out, you know, keep our families safe, look after our families, and um, be the 100% provider. But when you've got uh, a woman who really, really is doing everything she can to help you, to enable both of you to spend more time together, and she's building something that'll produce a passive income, by your assisting her, you're helping her um, to, to realize it, to get it going, you're working it as well. So, in, in essence, you're a partnership in that as well, even though she's doing it. Like, she posts some of these videos, and some of you have seen these videos as a result of her posting them. So, I'm adding to her content, I'm supporting her, I'm uh, directing people to her, for her to assist them, to either A, build this as a business, or to um, buy product. So, at every, step of the way guys if you feel as though at some point um, you're less because your wife's doing something because you're not a good enough provider well when you look around at the world and the uh, economics of what's really going on let you go up to another truck when, when you look at what's going on as well the cost of living is going up significantly your wages are not so um, if she is able to help supplement she's actually probably at some point helping to keep everything level pegging so that you guys are actually still got the same quality of life instead of having to tighten the belt more and then she can replace what you're earning there's nothing to stop you from continuing working nobody's gonna say dude she's bought you back therefore you have to stay home mate if you really want to keep working no one's going to stop you absolutely no one but just say it worked just say by some miracle she was able to buy your life back so just say you're on sixty thousand dollars a year right and she was earning $60,000 a year out of this Prove It business. The choice is yours as to whether or not you um, keep going to work, you create your own business, where you're now doing something more along the lines of what you really enjoy doing, whether that, you know, that, that might be art, uh, or for me, blacksmithing, metal casting, machining, you know, model making, radio controlled models, um, or, you know, whatever else. You, know, you might decide, look, I, I really like mowing lawns, and you go get yourself a small franchise and mow lawns, just because you enjoy doing it. No one's going to say, you can't do that. But it gives you choices. How many of us go to work day after day after day and feel that we have no choice? We're just rowing the, the galley with all the other slaves, and because you've got your back to the direction you're going, you have no idea where we're going. So, yeah. I don't mean this to be taking so long, but these other vehicles are a little on the noisy side. So all I'm saying, guys, is give your wives a chance. 
or your significant others a chance, work with them. You know, um, because ultimately by working with them, you're building it too, by default. And when it works, because two people working together on a project will ensure that it works. When it works, you're both going to reap the rewards. Now, think of it from a slightly different angle. Just say it wasn't her building the business, it was you. And just say she was as negative about it as you are with her. How would you feel, huh? You'd feel unwanted, disrespected. You'd feel that everybody was ungrateful for all the effort you're putting in. Why do that to her? She's got feelings too, bud. So, as much as it might be a terrible pill to swallow, swallow your pride. Um, she's doing this to help you. So get in there and you help her as well. So, you want to drop me a DM telling me I'm wrong? By all means, go for gold. I'm never going to stop you. Your choice. The world is full of choices. Life is just one choice after another. You know, you can vent on me if you desire. But at the end of the day, if you look at it from the, you know, from the perspective of what if it was you building an internet-based business, just say you were selling, I don't know, prestige cars on the internet. But every opportunity she had, she said, oh, that's stupid, that's never going to work, and it's a pipe dream, blah, 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 blah. Yeah? You're spending too much of your time and effort on it. Go out and do something else. You know, go, go sweep floors in an office building or something. You know? Go do a real job. It'd be soul-crushing. That's what you're doing to her if you're not behind her and helping her. So, from my perspective, guys, you're not less of a man. You're actually more of a man if you get in and give your wife the hand that she needs. Okay? So, I think that's enough soapbox today. You bikes don't really need to hear any more. I've rambled on more than enough. It's 12 and a half minutes already. Well, you yeah. Not the best place to do a video like this. Guys, girls, have an absolutely sensational day. Love your work. You are all doing really, really well out there at what you do. Uh, without everybody pulling together, none of us get anywhere. So take care out there. If you're out on the roads, be safe. No trip's worth dying for. And I really look forward to catching you all again soon. Bye for now.